All right, we're back again. I didn't go with the next shade on the hair, so I think we're done with that. And that's why the last video stopped where it did. And I'm going to go with some grass green. And we're going to do a little few details on her. I'm going to go with a smaller brush than I normally do. I think this one says 18-0. It's a, it's a liner brush. I don't know that it's going to help me much, but that's the plan. And we're going to go in and do a little bow here and a little lacing, I guess. And we're also going to try her sleeves. There's a little cord on the sleeves. And I might try to get around the opening on the dress here with a little bit of stuff. And I think I might try the little, there's some ribbing in the back. Try to get that. I don't know about that ruffle right there. I don't think I want that in green. I think I want to keep that in blue. I think that's just kind of the top of the dress. I don't know. So this is going to take a lot of close-up work, so I may just do a little bit and then go offline and call it good from there. But since I'm using the limited palette, I'm just going straight in. And just lightly brushing everything. One reason I'm using a smaller brush is just that the details are getting tiny. Normally I would have this a few inches away from my face. One of the joys of being nearsighted, I guess. You can do that and have your own little magnifying glass. And just looking at the first pass of this, and I've probably been painting it all off the side. I apologize. I have no idea what I was talking about now either. I really don't. I'm completely stumped at this point. What was I talking about? You know, I was talking about being nearsighted and all the fun and games that entails. I could stop the video and find out, but. If I can't remember, it obviously wasn't that important. Yeah, I think that's a good look. I keep seeing a little flash of gray if I hold it to the side. I'm trying to get that in there without spreading paint everywhere. Maybe that's what it was I was going to talk about. Just looking at her, I'm wondering if I want to put a little bit of a wash in there. I've got a highlight planned. But I don't think I have any plan for a wash. Well, anyway, we'll, I'm going to go ahead and get the ruffles done. Not the ruffles. We've done the ruffles. The lacing and whatnot. Well, I can, I can get the back without having to get it that close to my face, I think. I think. As long as I go really gentle with it. Yep. So I'll be back and I'll show you what I've done and then we'll try doing a little light highlight on that. I think I've got uh, I'm going to try to highlight it with yellow. and I don't think that's a good idea. I think I may mix a little yellow in with the green and we'll try highlighting it from there. Okay, show you what I've done here. I have done 
find a little something to point with. Done all the bracing here, the gemstone there, little line around that, her sleeves, and I figured out where this ruffle in the back is coming from. This corset goes from here to here, and if I had done this, saw this before, I would have done a little bit better job of it. <clears throat> but that should probably all be a different shade of blue if I was going to try for that. So I would make the dress down one color and then the corset would maybe be a darker blue and then from there I maybe would have done a very pastel blue for the shirt and I think that would have looked better but we're gonna press on with what we've got next thing I'm gonna try to do is highlight these bows a little bit I'm not gonna do the gym because I want the gym to stay green and I am going to use put the cap back on sunlight yellow and we're just going to kind of do almost a dry brush on top, kind of like we were doing for the highlights. And we will see what this comes out to be. So I'm not trying for a lot of color, just like a general sheen. Well, not even a sheen, just picked out a little bit and that's almost too yellow but I'm gonna go with it and it almost ties in with that so maybe I'll keep that And I think I will do the sleeves as well. This is going to be a little tricky because I only want to get like the tops of the sleeves. I don't want to get all of it, so I'll try to get my hand to stop shaking. Right, right, that almost is good enough for what I want to do. Normally, this would be like the sun shining off of it, but thinking I almost want to do this all the way around just to add some dimension detail to it. brush is starting to split on me. This is one of my older brushes. So sometimes it just doesn't want to cooperate very much. Ah, that was way too yellow. See, this is, this is the point in my painting. Or, you know, I really should go back and fix that. Paint over it again. Do a lot more better detail of it. But this is where my laziness kicks in. and I'm not going to. I think that's good for that. Uh, should I try to do just a little bit on the edge there? Because this is turning out to be more yellow color than it is green. But I don't know, I think I'll go with it. 
probably a little bit better of a choice considering the yellow and the ruffles anyway. And on top of that, it's kind of nice anyway. I need to hit that one side just a little bit more. I'm worried that I'm going to do it too much. And I'm calling that good. Done. So, I think what the next thing I'm going to do, and I don't know if I'll put it to this video or not, is I'm going to do her shoe and then some cords there and her bracelet. I'm going to do the bracelet on her arm actually it's on both arms isn't it? and then the frame around the gym. So I think I'll go ahead and do the shoes and then we'll do one final detail drawing. Drawing. <laughs> Video. <laughs>